All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mack, play fast football. All right, I uh, got a chance to visit Coastal Carolina this past weekend. Awesome time, sitting in meetings, watching them practice, a couple team scrimmage sessions. So I got to sit in with the defense, picked up some really good teaching tidbits. What I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today, all right, is playing three down, playing our tight front stuff, adjusting the tight front, and the difference between plug fits with the backers and scrape fits with the backers. Make sure you check out some of our partners, GameStrat, Sideline Replay Company we use. If you're looking for highly reliable, highly affordable, make sure you check out GameStrat. Dome Mats, the headwear company we use uh, with Bishop Kenny High School, every high school I've ever been at. Play fast football. This is my custom BK football hat, Crusader logo on the back, Dome all right, logo on the side. So you can get them fitted, you can get them snapback, you can get them Velcro, any enclosure you want, any style hat you want. You build it, you design it, stock hats suck. All right, Baker Sporting Goods company we use for coaches gear. All right, this hoodie, our spirit packs come from them. Uh, a lot of our player gear, coaches gear, fan gear comes from them. Our uniforms are distributed from them. So one-stop shop for all your uniform needs. Check out Baker Sports. Difference USA, the ultimate striking machine. Get thousands of reps without needing a partner. All right, it is just you and a Difference USA machine. They set up right in the weight room. All right, they attach to the racks that you already have. So if you want to strike violently, you need to practice striking violently. Check out Difference USA. Aaron Consulting, Dan Fogerty and, and his company there, uh, working on educating people in the recruiting process, keeping coaches at the forefront, right? So helping families with the recruiting process, educating people about recruiting, helping families get an edge in recruiting, all right? Understanding things like NCAA guidelines, NCAA timelines, the NCAA calendar, how to build your social media networks and how to build your contacts up with college coaches while keeping the head coach at the forefront of college recruiting. They do some unbelievable stuff. Make sure you check them out. Get Aaron, all right, dot com, G-E-T-A-R-E-N dot com. All right, tell them you came from PlayFast, Coach Mac, and you'll get a discount on some of their recruiting services. All right, uh, two new companies right, we just partnered up with, Brand Tech. All right, located in Wisconsin. They have everything from fundraising platforms. They have some custom sublimation gear for teams. All right, they have a disinfected spray called uh, Fresh Sport that they have that is, or Sports Fresh, sorry, my bad. Uh, disinfectant spray that you can use on equipment. You can use it on jerseys. You can use it in your locker room. You can use it in your weight room, right? Trying to fight staph infection, MRSA, all those things. Keep us clean, keep us disinfected. All right. They even have uh, an app that helps players train and get better all right, on the field. So this is a company that does it all. Fundraising, sublimation, uh, disinfectant spray, apps for players to get better. All right. So if you're looking for everything under one roof, make sure you check out Brand Tech. Fly route drones. We use drones. The eye in the sky doesn't lie. They are the leader in drones for athletics. All right, if you want that angle from above, not exactly that end zone shot, if you want to set it up to get the right angle for your seven on seven, your team periods, all right, you need to be using a drone and you need to be using fly route drones. Go to their website, www.flyroute.com. Tell them you came from PlayFast. Check out everything they do. They can give you certification courses, teach somebody how to fly a drone so that you are, all right, uh, in compliance with the government and all the local state rules and everything that you need to be in compliance with. Check out fly route drones. All right, so. When we went to Coastal, all right, they play a little bit style of defense than we play right now, right? But you don't always go to college uh, or take college visits or go to clinics just to get a scheme. It's about how they teach it, right? So for me, I sat with the DC. I sat in the safety meetings. I'm looking for buzzwords. I'm looking to see how they teach things, right? But the best thing we got from them was their linebacker coach was at New Mexico, all right, at the same time that Iowa State made the switch to their three high structure, and New Mexico started playing some of it. And I was able to get New Mexico cut-ups, all right, and I was able to sit with their linebacker coach and talk about how they teach, the, how they taught, sorry, their run fits, all right, and I was able to get game clips of them and teach tape of them playing their run fits with the backers and then the terminology that he used to change from one to the other, right? So if you followed us, you know that we are predominantly a tight front team. When we are three down, we almost never shade the front. We almost never give you an open B gap when we are playing our tight front. Even with a tight end in the game, we stay tight front. So this is what I would consider with a four-eye closed B gap in front of me, all right, in our tight front world, this is what I would consider scrape fits for the Mike and the Wolf, okay? So when we talk scrape fits, we are talking A to C. And now we're talking about where's the back, what am I reading, what's going to take me, 
all right, to my fit, and we're basically pulling the chain off each other and the nose to work A to C, right? So the nose always lags. One of us is going to have the A gap off the nose. The other one is going to have a C gap, right? So right now with this back to me, I'm thinking stack track, fall back C. I'm thinking I'm going to be in the A, all right, unless we get pullers. Now, if this Mike got a puller away, he's not going to go to the C. If he got pulls away, now this would reverse, all right? I would go to the C, I would go to the A, but we're always working A to C when we are working our straight fits, right? And our linebacker coach from week to week, there's times where we're going to read the Y off. There's times where we're going to read center guard center, all right? We're going to read triangles. There's times where our coach teaches what he calls half line reads, full line reads. Okay, so when we're in our straight fit world, that is how we are reading, that is how we are fitting. All right, each week I talk to my linebacker coach and ask him, hey, what do you think the tendencies are this week? Can we get away with reading Y off? Yes or no? If not, half line, full line. All right, and I let him during the week determine what our guys are going to read. But our fits, when we have a closed B gap and three down, tight front, our fits are what we consider scrape fits. Okay, and for us, we don't change from that. So they're A to C players. The overhangs have the edge, and the middle safety's got to fit the alley between the inside backer and the edge defender, right? That's how we play our tight three high defense when we are in base structures, all right? The thing I've always wanted to do for tight end sets, okay, or for change-ups, is I wanted to be able to play a little bit of old-fashioned oaky front while still playing, all right, uh, three high. Let me draw a tight again just so I can... Now, the thing about the tight front is you're trying to play five inside gaps with less players, all right? Or you're trying to play, I'm sorry, four A to B, both A gaps and both B gaps. Sorry, four inside gaps with less players, right? So if it was one back and you only have four in the box, you're playing all four interior gaps, all right? So we're trying to play all these gaps with less players in the box, right? What people would call a light box theory, okay? All right, when you're talking about buzzwords, clickbait, football terminology, Light box theory, right? Less players in the box, force you to run the ball, send the ball where we want it, and then get our bodies there. Okay? So when we are playing the tight front, it is scrape, fits, all right? Reads depend on what the linebacker coach wants that week, all right? And it is a light box theory. That's why we are playing the tight front. Now, the issue that I've always had with Oki from a three high standpoint, okay, is you got to be able to eliminate some of those gaps in the same fashion, right? So, what we're going to do when we go to plug fits, right? So, when we go to a front that we call Oki, we're going to play our backers on what we call plug fits. Okay? All right? And we're going to use a technique that we call rolling star. And I got that from the linebacker coach at Coastal that was at New Mexico. That's how he taught him. He taught him. This is what we call rolling star plug fits, right? So we want to be able to differentiate what is a plug fit, what is a scrape fit, all right? Because it's going to be two different deals for us. Now, because, that, because we're in five techniques now, it's going to be harder for us to eliminate inside gaps. So what we're going to have to do is our five techniques, all right? So our fives are going to have to be, in essence, two gap players, okay? And what that means is out blocks, we got to be able to play the big gap. That's the only way we can get bodies where we need them, right? So that's how the five techniques fit into that scheme. Now, to me, philosophically, mentally, emotionally, that five technique is going to be more geared up to play than he is. When he's in four-eye, guys have a hard time playing four-eye, all right? They, don't, they feel like they don't make as many plays. They don't get as many highlights. They're not on film as much. They feel like four-eyes are a B-gap occupied, okay? And there's sometimes where I can almost agree with that. So when you give a guy a chance to play a five and three down, not just switching over, okay? Now you got to teach him how to spill because we're still going to spill. you got to teach him how to squeeze down blocks, right? you got to go back to teaching more techniques for that five technique because a four eye, yeah, you don't make a lot of plays, but the play is kind of simple. Anchor the B gap, don't get reached, don't get cut off in that B gap, hold your point on down blocks, right? That's kind of it. Well, when you're a five technique now, better pass rush when you're a five. All right, better pass rush from the edge. But now versus down blocks, you're going to have to squeeze and spill to get the ball to do what we want, okay? You're also going to have to learn how to two-gap because any blocks that are base or towards you, you're going to have to try and cross-face those run blocks to get, for us to get gap, gap, gap occupied. All right, we are still going to lag the nose. 
Okay, we're still going to lag the nose. Okay, the fives are going to play blocks at them. They're going to play B-gap blocks that go inside, veer release. They're going to squeeze. They're going to spill. All right, the backwards. Plug, rolling start. When we do this, we are reading guard in front of me only. So that's the only thing I'm going to read is the guard in front of me. All right? If I get a run block that is out towards me, I am going to cross his face and get downhill, basically almost blitzing the A-gap. All right? That's what the rolling start mentality of it is. All right, our toes are at four, heels are at five, somewhere around there. When we get that read, we're going downhill hard. Anything that's outer towards me, I'm going A-gap. Anything that works down or inside, double team, gap schemes, on the way. Anything that works down in here, I am going downhill hard into the B-gap. Okay? Anything that's a pass set, I'm going to get into my pass drop. So that's as simple as it is for those linebackers. Okay? Run blocks that come towards me. A gap. Run blocks that go down inside, B gap. Okay, so what would that look like if we look like, let's just say like a split zone theory. Okay, so if we got a split zone theory with these zone blocks working out here, all right, like this, however they want to do it, all right, and that's going to climb to him. Front side five technique. That block is out, you need to get your helmet into B gap. Front side Mike linebacker, that block, run block towards you, A gap puts. Nose, leg, backside A-gap. Will linebacker, run block away from you, B-gap blitz, okay? Anchor, inside, squeeze, spill, All right? So if we got split zone, and we got this guy coming back, and we got inside zone here, okay? That's how we are going to fit the run. So that this overhang that's sitting right here, if the back's on his side, he's going to be slow to go, hold and fold, all right, hang player, he's not disappearing anywhere inside. We're trying to get the ball out to him. So the end takes away the B gap. We've got the A, nose lag the A, Will's got the B. I'm going to be that squeeze player. If I get another one coming back, I am going to spill because back here we're going to be some version of that. Okay, and then depending on how we are doing everything, that is going to be the extra guy that we are trying to get in the alley. This is your... Dude. All right? So when you go to plug fits, that is how you would fit the plug fit versus split zone. Okay? Still going to spill with the five technique that gets the beer block. Five technique that gets the out block has to cancel the B so I can cancel the A. I lag the A. I plug the B. And we're good to go. Okay? So that's a little bit different than we do in tight front. All right? But what it allows us to do is it allows us to play some open B gap theories in our three down. So it allows us to play that okey front, right? So what if you got power, for argument's sake, right? So if you got power, all right, let's say they're set like that, whatever you want to do, all right, however you want to do it, and we say, all right. Now, here's a neat rule that they had at New Mexico. If there's two in the core, we're playing okey. Two in the core means a running back and a tight end, or a tap in the core, right? So they're in the core to formation. Two in the core, they're going to play Oki, right? So Oki means five techniques. So now we are going to be in the plug fit world, all right? So we're going to play Oki front from the plug fit world, and we're going to play it three high, okay? So if you were to get the power play, all right? And let's say now that we're in fives, they can probably hinge that, right? So they can double that and probably work it back, okay? They can probably get that either down to the wheel, or they can get it to there, whatever they feel like they need. If they can double that, right, they're going to try and kick that out. They're going to try and wrap that somewhere inside while they run the power play there. All right, maybe they can get RPOs going out here, whatever they want to do, access out here, right? How are we going to fit that power play? So on the front side, five technique, down block, you got to spill. Okay, Mike linebacker, block that went down inside, we're going to plug him as hard as we can, make him basically the three technique. All right? Will linebacker, you got to pull, you're going to jump over. All right, anchor's getting that hinge block, he's probably going to end up, all right, outside first when he sees it hinge. Maybe he can cross face, but this is a tough one for play action, boot, other stuff. All right, so this is going to be a game plan deal on that hinge block. All right, now remember, we also play tight front. So when we're tight front, they probably can't hinge that four eye. They probably need to back block all of it. When we go to Oki, they can probably block it, all right, a little bit more efficiently. 
This is going to be your force player. This is going to be the extra guy that we're running the alley. If he's down, he's going to become your cutback player. Right? So by rule, in the plug world, we're going to get a hard plug with a spill, with a jump over because of the pull. Okay? And then we're going to have a fold player behind that. Nose is going to lag the backside they get. So now that fold player here with the hard jump over because of the pull, he may need to show up somewhere on the backside there. That's the hard alley run. All right. So for us, what it's going to do is it's going to give us simple terminology, a way for us to bounce back and forth, okay? A way for us to bounce back and forth between open B gap, Oki, tight front, right? And then I'll show you two in the core, Oki front. If they got one in the core, one back, they played a combination of both. And Iowa State calls it their back front, all right? So what they would do with one in the core, so again, this is what you would consider one in the core. Tailback's the only guy in the core. Everybody else is removed from the core. Right? So what they would do is to the side of the tailback, they would play the four eye. All right? Then they would play the nose and they would play Oki to that side. All right? So for argument's sake, if this was, all right, the mic, Will, Nickel, Corner, Left Safety. All right? And let's say right safety here, whatever you want to do coverage-wise, middle safety working off three. So now, to the side that they have the four eye, the mic is now a scrape fitter. The wheel is now a rolling start plug fitter. So now the mic is going to work A to C off the action of the back, and you may have some zone read deals in there if it's one back where he's going to be, all right, an extra guy on the back side of the quarterback. Now to this side, you're working, all right, five techniques, spill, any out blocks, cross face. I'm reading the guard, so I'm either going to be a plug A or a plug B player, and the nose is always going to be a lag player. So now you've got a plug side and a scrape side, right? So the close, and again, it's this simple. If, if, that three, if that B gap is closed, I'm a scrape fitter. If that B gap is open, I'm a plug fitter. Now we can plug both of them, we can scrape both of them, we can scrape one, we can plug the other. Middle safety is the alley runner, that's where we're trying to send the ball. None of our coverage components on the outside have changed, we're playing all the same coverages. All right, so for me, um, I knew Iowa State was, was kind of fitting some things this way. We got a team locally near us that plays really, really good football that we play in the spring um, that fits things this way from their three down stuff. We stayed with the old tight front, uh, had a lot to do with our personnel and our defensive front. Coming back this year, I like our personnel. I like our defensive front. I like our linebackers. All right, last year our linebackers were our strength. We get one of those guys back. Got a JV kid that I really like. So we played tight and tried to get everything out to them. Now we return some D linemen that I think are going to be more active and better players this year because they all played for us last year. So I'm okay with playing some five technique stuff. I'm okay with playing some open B gap stuff and teaching rolling start plug fits from three down. I think we're going to be able to play it more to tight end sets. I think it's better for us than tight front. All right. I think we're still going to be able to play some tight front to one back. So for us, it's going to be the best of both worlds. So I went to Coastal Carolina and spent more of my time talking to them about what they did at New Mexico because that's what fits us, right? As a coach, we got to find what fits us. Where are we going to benefit? I took all their buzzwords, all their meeting, how they taught tempo, how they taught situational football. It was phenomenal. I learned all that from my position group. I learned all that as a defensive coordinator. But scheme-wise, I talked to them more about what they did at New Mexico because it matches us, right? you got to learn what you need to make yourself better, but then you also need to know what you need to make your team better. And talking about that style of defense makes us a better team. All right, so I appreciate all you guys following along. Thanks for being here with Play Fast. Remember, turn those notifications on. Click that subscribe button. You'll know every time we do a video or go on YouTube Live. Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like the video. Leave a comment. Every comment I see on my side, I respond to. Again, if you want any of the virtual clinics we've done, sting8740 at gmail.com. I just sent another coach uh, 10 or 11 virtual clinics yesterday. All right, he got in touch with me, sent me um, you know, the, the payment through PayPal. Simple, easy, $15. I gave him 11 virtual clinics, 10 virtual clinics, whatever it was. I gave him 20 hours of football for $15. If you're interested in that, email me, sting8740 at gmail.com. Thanks for everything you do for me. We're getting closer to the spring, closer to the end of the year. Hang in there. Football in the spring for us is almost back. Great time of year. Hope everybody's healthy. Hope you're doing all right. Remember, you won't play well until you play fast. See you guys next time.